Okay, this is part three of our Christmas gift ideas family history style. So this was a book about a couple and all they did was like a five year period um, on the and so this is, if you look at the book, name of the book, it says The Co-Ed and the Sailor, 1943 to 1948. And so I thought this is a good idea to just pull out. When you do these books and different things, you don't have to make, I think I sometimes feel like I have to make a whole book and, you know, I've got to get that all done. But you could really just do a, just a specific part of of someone's life. So I think that's a good idea. And this, this was a really cute book. I like this one a lot. And again, on this, you could... Just print these. This was a printed one, probably Shutterfly Peekaboo. I'm I'm not sure, but there's so many different places out there. This one was really fun. This was is a cemetery book, and the name of it, if you can see down here in the bottom, is Who's Underwear. Um, it's a book of grave importance. Um, this is just a such such a fun idea. I believe Tina Tina shared this, and she what it is that she's gone to a lot. I guess for Memorial Weekend, she always goes to all the graves, and they take all the kids and so put flowers on the graves. And so what she's done is made this cemetery book, and it's just, as you can see, it's also just at the Salt Lake City Cemetery. And so they've, and what she's done is she's had pictures and the, the headstones and then um, a little bit about each person, their birth and death and maybe marriage date. And then... Um, if you notice these little cards right here, see this on the this green card and then this one on the right, the one of the husband and the one of the wife. Um, let me show you on the next slide what was really fun about that is that she included, she made this little matching card game through Ancestry Games that are in Orem, AncestryGames.com. And she, in that book, used these little matching games that she had made up. And as you can see, this is just a big picture of Titus Mosley. And then if you look over here, that matches with this little picture is the same as this. But then she also tells a little bit about, um, each, you know, a little bit about him and, and tries to um, put some information. So when you're doing the matching, you're not just matching these two big pictures, but you're matching these two together. And so... Just really creative. I really like this a lot, too. And the backs, this is the back of them, is Who Begat You? And I think just a fun, fun idea. So, but remember, this is AncestryGames.com. And while you're going through this, you can actually stop this and write, you know, just pause it and write information down that you want or go back through it again. All right, the next one that I really like, um, Lindsay Bayless brought this, is a handmade bingo game. And... This, I think, looks like a ton of work, but it was such a nice idea. So she just made up this bingo game with different pictures of the family. And then just had, these are the cards right here that you would, you know, instead of using numbers, you would just hold up the picture of the card. And then they could put the candy or whatever on the bingo board. But just a fun idea to get to know people and the pictures. And I think that that's a really cool idea. I really like it. One thing that um, I think Jeffrey Thompson, I can't remember who shared this with us, but, sh but for Christmas one year, his wife gave him a DNA test, and he said from that, he was able to go back another generation from what he had found before. And so I thought, what a great idea for someone, maybe parents or someone that has everything and you never know what to give them. Give them a DNA test and let them see what they can find. Okay, here's some other things that they, Lindsay shared with us. There's some ancestor flashcards, so you could go through and make flashcards with different pictures and, and different ideas on those. And then on the right-hand side is just a really cute ancestor tree. You know, there's so many different ways you can make these, but that's a really cute tree and just has hung little ornaments on with different pictures. So as you can see, the theme, get, get these pictures in front of your family and they'll get to know their ancestors. Another fun thing that Lindsay shared is a shadow box. And so this is just on the left-hand side, different memorabilia, memorabilia on a shadow box. And that's a fun idea to have, just to have that, that people can see different memories from that ancestor. And then on the right also is a fun idea. If you have an ancestor from a certain area, Lindsay is actually from England. But look, on the right, she has some London pillows. And so that would be a fun thing to make 
for your kids or anybody and just as a reminder of where their ancestors are from. Some more things that Lindsay shared, there's Grandma Terry's artwork, and this is kind of fun to put those in frames and share those. And then the right is a map of an ancestral home. And what a fun idea this, I, I don't know even how she did this, we need to ask her, but just a fun map with a church and, and different, um, different areas, but just a fun map. I like that. Okay, this is family history. Whoops, keep going back. Um, family home evening story. So 52 stories for a year, family home evenings. And this says match the story to the person on your pedigree chart. So here she has included a pedigree chart, and then there's some stories, and then they get to see where that person is on the pedigree chart. So what a great idea to, to get them to look at that, at the pedigree chart, and, and look at their ancestors. On the right is a digitized frame that just does the pictures that rotate through, and you could do this of ancestors' pictures and give that as gifts. And then here's a couple of binders. One on the left is on Isaac Red, and just just all the information about him with pictures and stories and his information. So also one way that you can just do the binder version, not even worry about printing it um, professionally. And then also another binder idea is my family stories. Just gather them. You know, if you don't feel like you want to, um, spend a lot of time printing them. Just gather them and, and put them in a binder and let everybody read them. And you can even do that be if you want, you know, before you even print them, like, professionally, too. This is a cute idea um, that Cindy Henriksen shared. She had just found these at Hobby Lobby. So what they are is little pic ornaments where you can put your pictures in. And that would be really fun to have a collection of those kind of ornaments with yourself and family and maybe ancestors. That'd be fun to actually maybe have a tree that just has all those those on. But she says you found them at Hobby Lobby and just a really cute idea. Okay, on the left here is um, information. This is a bracelet that had seven links in it. And she went ahead and put different ancestors into this little bracelet. I wish that was a little bit bigger so you could see it. But um, able to cut these and put them in this little bracelet. And so what a fun idea to have to, um, as some jewelry with your ancestors. And then also Roseanne shared some different lockets. And she had a beautiful display. And I took the picture and it was really blurry. So I went ahead and just had found some lockets online, but you could put ancestors photos in lockets and share those or give those to um, your, your girls or, or different family members. But just a fun, fun idea and also just a special gift. Um, this was an ancestor book. And as you can see, just it was a really pretty book and it um, it just has pictures and photos and stories and, and was really well done. It was really nice. This is also just a framed heirloom, so a little doily that was just framed. And that's a nice idea. If you have any kind of heirlooms around, it'd be great to at least not just throw, you know, throw them out, try to do something with them. Okay, that is the end of our slides today. And I hope um, these give you good ideas if you have any others that you want to share. We would love to hear about them.